mirror. So I am just adjusting this. I'm actually using my GoPro for the very first time. Can you see me? Can I see me? Yeah, I think you can see me. See me, right? Anyway, um, what I'm going to do today is I'm making, I am making a smoothie. I know I've been really MIA. I mean, after, after I've done the Mandela effects, I sort of slipped away from YouTube for a couple, well, to be honest, it hasn't really been that long, come to think of it. Um, well, it's been sort of long. But at the same time, one second, let me see if I can find something to put in the smoothie. Let's see what should we put with our smoothies. Banana and strawberry. So banana and strawberry. And yeah, to be honest, I have been a bit I've been feeling a bit um I'm not quite sure what to do on my video. Um to be honest, by the way, this is a GoPro I'm using. This is the first time I'm actually filming with my GoPro. Um so yeah, forgive me if I'm just a bit you know, a bit. I guess I just need to get used to it. I've had this GoPro for quite a while, in fact. Um, I've had it since. When, was it, when did I have it since? I had it since. I think. Yeah, actually, my mum's birthday because I got my mum's my mum a GoPro for her birthday, and I got myself one as well. So, yeah. Now, what are we going to make with this smoothie? I'm thinking blueberries, strawberry, and banana. But which strawberry and banana and blueberries go together? I don't know. Um, Yeah, I've got a lot of exciting projects that I do want to do. Oh, here's an open thing of blueberries. Yeah, I've got a lot of exciting projects coming that I can't really talk about. And I know that's like so cliche for every YouTuber to say, oh, exciting projects, but I can't talk about it. That is true. I actually can't. So, I just... I've had, I've had, I have ideas in my head, but I need to see if they'll work. So a few strawberries, a couple of blueberries. Uh, the reason why I'm making a smoothie is because I decided that on the Monday will be a detox Monday. So that'll be a day where I just like uh, totally detox because Sunday is my cheat day where I'm allowed to eat chocolate and then so you can't, you can't see me can you so uh, excuse the wash the dishes but yeah I just to be honest if I'm being totally honest um, I haven't really been trying very hard for my fitness and I need to start on Mondays obviously like I sort of <laughs> I do turn you around. It's sort of hard to um, work out on a Monday because usually on a Sunday I have a super long shift. Like, for example, yesterday I was working from 11 in the morning till 9 at night, and that was a really long shift, and my feet were swollen. I told myself I'm going to go jogging on Monday, but then I thought I need to look after my feet. It's really important to listen to your body and to. Uh, you know look after your feet as well if you've been on your feet for a really long time and then you want to put more pressure sorry about that my mum's watching tv in the front room by the way there's going to be extra loud just to let you know 
So if you're wearing headphones, I'd take it out. <laughs> I so I'll put the rest in the fridge for when my little brother wakes up. He can have like a little smoothie. I'm making a smoothie for me and my mum. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people wonder why do I make it with water instead of milk. But to be honest, it's a bit of a waste of milk. And also, if you think about it, milk is sort of fattening. So it sort of takes away from the whole, you know. I mean, I guess you could use it with milk sometimes, I guess, but not all the time. Yeah, I'm just... I guess this will be enough for my little brother, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I'll put this in the fridge. And put this away. Because I've been breaking out really badly. I have got like quite a lot of spots. I don't know if you can see on my forehead. Yeah, I don't wear makeup anyway, so everyone can see that. I've got spots. And I never used to. And now I do. Because obviously, number one, you know, like where I work, breaking up boxes and dust and everything. And also, as much as you look after your skin, you know, still, you still have to go to work almost every day and do the same thing. And also, I eat too much junk, which I need to stop, because now is the time, perfect time, to start looking after yourself. So I'm just washing the plates. I need to, um, yes, I need to get, I need to get ready soon as well because I'm going to go see a friend. It's the 12th. Lockdown is, well, not totally over, but most of it is over. So, yeah. Anyway, let me take this to my mum. So, yeah, I just put on the wash. That's why it's open. Mum. Don't worry, you're not on camera. <laughs> Good. Thank you. It's strawberry, banana and blueberry. Strawberry, banana and blueberry? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I bought a whole bunch of, funny, a funny story, I bought a whole bunch of fruit um, a few weeks ago. I bought a whole bunch of frozen fruit, but it's been so cold I haven't really had a chance to use it because I, I just go for like a cup of tea or something. Right, where should I settle you down? I'm gonna go here. Can you see me? Yeah, you can see me. By the way, this is the book that I've been reading, by the way. Um, it's um, by Stephen King and it's called Gerald's Game. Honestly, like this book, if you're into, you know, BDSM and bondage and all that crap, this book will put you off. Basically, what's happened is this couple, they've got like a, they're having, their marriage is sort of struggling and they think, okay, what they can do is they can go away to some remote place and some cabin in the woods, there's all these people like to do which I don't know why anyone would have a cabin in the woods when it's just so cliche something's bound to go wrong anyway they go they go into a cabin in the woods and they've and the husband his name is Gerald and he's into like tie, he starts to tie her up with scarves and you know they do their thing and then he decides to tie handcuff her with her actual, not play handcuffs, actual handcuffs. But then, you know, 
she's like, okay, I'm not really feeling this, you know, it's a bit tight. Can you let, you know, can you, um, you know, can we just like do it normally, you know, without the whole bondage crap or whatever. But he decides in his sick head that he's going to totally ignore his wife and proceed to basically assault her. And so she kicks her, she kicks him in self-defense and he has a heart attack and dies and then the problem is she's still handcuffed to the bed and there is nobody around because they're in a cabin in the woods and yeah that i'm actually on chapter what chapter am i on chapter seven honestly this this book I don't know, this book is deep. Anyway, let me try my smoothie. It's all right, I guess, I mean, sorry. My door keeps banging because my door doesn't have a handle. And speaking of, I really need to sort that out. Because whenever I open the window, it just starts to bang shut all of that anyway by the way on another note i've got a list of different things that i want to do on my channel um i do want to be consistent i i at first i thought you know like it doesn't really matter if i'm consistent or not i'm just doing it as a hobby but now i want to focus more on my youtube channel and i want to i do want to um I do want to have like a plan sort of but I've got a lot of ideas but I need to see if it can work before I reveal them but anyway that's all for now um yeah that's all for now lately I've just been working and that's it really um what I've been doing is working reading my book um I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay, you know, trying to have a lot of good positive vibes, a lot of, um, been meditating, I've been, I've been focusing a lot on, um, myself and my happiness and positive thoughts. Just so that I can get myself in gear for what's to come and obviously I can't tell you what's to come because there's some people that's going to see this and I want to I want to do it where they won't see it coming you know I'm talking about my YouTube channel by the way well not just my YouTube channel but just life in general like I've got a lot of plans how I want to change my life around but yeah basically that's all um what else yeah so i guess using this gopro is obviously a lot easier because i don't have the limit of i don't have the limit of um oh i think that's a parcel let's go see yeah i don't have the limit of um all of my stuff. Look, parcel. One second. Hello. 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 I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I love parcels. Who's this from? Oops, I love it. Hello. Yes, it's more. Oh, is there more? Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, that's my sister. Pardon? <laughs> yeah, she is. Thank 
castles. Well, I know this one is mine. But it's mine, my sister's, my, well, no, my sister's, mine, my sister's, mine, and, oh, I'm not sure So I guess since I'm on camera, might as well open packages, might as well. Um, one second. Is that my sister? Oh, she's not in. But hey. Guess we can close this now that the washing machine is done. And let's get opening these parcels. Let's see. Him. Right. I hope this all films because my mum has been having slight problems with her GoPro because sometimes it doesn't film the end. So hopefully, can you see me? Hopefully. Now, what did I order? Be honest, I ordered so much stuff. And sometimes I don't even know about all the stuff. Oh, yeah. well, this movie is called Above the Rim. I was actually thinking about this earlier. Funny how it just came. Um, I've never seen it before, and I thought, hmm, might as well. It's only like four pound on eBay. What's this? <laughs> Than I thought. They're a lot smaller than those ones. Can you see those ones? I thought this would be sort of like the same size. But hey, what can I do? What's this now? 